as well as being considered two world-famous comedians. Adam Sandler and Kevin Hart are two comedians who have made money throughout their careers. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you will watch a fierce battle between Adam Sandler versus Kevin Hart. So let's go to the fight! Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Cars Both actors love to enjoy nice cars, but which one has the most luxurious collection? Adam Sandler, for example, likes to invest in nice cars. For example, he has already been seen in a Cadillac DTS, a large sedan car that is no longer manufactured, but which at the time of its launch used to cost around $41,600. From the same brand, he has already been seen in a Cadillac CTS, a more modern and imposing sedan vehicle. Its interior has a sophisticated finish, and it is no wonder that its price is estimated at approximately $52,000. He has also been spotted in a Dodge Challenger SRT, a vehicle with a sporty design, equipped with a V8 engine capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4 seconds, and reaching a top speed of 185 miles per hour. And that is why the price of this expensive car is valued at around $60,000. Raising the price, he has already been spotted riding a Range Rover Sport, a robust SUV with a very imposing design. The interior of the vehicle offers plenty of space and comfort, and is equipped with the most modern items on the market. And that's why it can cost more than $94,000. Even more powerful, he has been seen with a Cadillac Scarlet, another vehicle of the Cadillac brand, an automaker he seems to like a lot. It is a huge car, capable of offering a lot of comfort for all its passengers, which is why depending on the model its price can exceed $104,000. Among the cars that have been seen with Kevin Hart are for example, $35,000 1967 Fiat 600 Convertible, $40,000 1966 Pontiac GTO, $50,000 1987 Grand National, $55,000 1993 Ford Bronco Custom, $60,000 Jeep Wrangler, $65,000 Chevrolet Corvette C2, $70,000 GMC Yukon, $75,000 1966 Chevrolet Camaro, $80,000 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, $90,000 1959 Chevrolet Corvette Convertible, $95,000 Range Rover Vogue, $100,000 1970 Plymouth Barracuda, $110,000 1965 Mustang Convertible, $115,000 Mercedes-Benz S550, $180,000 Mercedes-Benz G65 AMG, $185,000 Mercedes-Benz Maybach, $190,000 1967 Mustang Eleanor, $200,000 Porsche 911, $220,000 Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Black Edition, $250,000 Ferrari 488 GTB, $260,000 Ferrari 458 Spider. Raising the level of refinement and luxury even further is a Rolls-Royce Ghost, a vehicle that oozes sophistication, good taste, and comfort, which costs around $310,000. Even more expensive, he has already posted a picture in a Ferrari 488 Pista, one of the fastest cars made by Ferrari. And the price to have this Ferrari Model 0 KM can exceed the bagatelle of $350,000. But the most expensive car he has ever seen is a Ferrari SF90, a supercar that is everyone's dream car. And maybe that is why a brand new one can top $600,000. As Kevin's car collection is much more expensive, he wins this round real estate. When it comes to choosing an excellent place to live, both comedians don't like to skimp, but who owns the most luxurious residence? It is known that in 2015, Kevin Hart purchased a huge 26-acre plot of land in an exclusive gated community in Calabasas, and that is exactly where he decided to build his huge house that was completed in 2017. 
According to the posts on his Instagram, it was possible to get to know a little bit about the place where he lives, since he is always sharing with his followers his daily routine and happy moments with his family. It is possible to see that the interior of the property is very spacious and cozy, with the floor all made of wood and also having large openings, which end up providing excellent natural lighting. According to some sources, the actor's house has about 9,600 square feet divided into two floors, more than enough space to house everything he and his wife need to live in comfort. The TV room, for example, is very sophisticated, with a marble panel with a fireplace underneath, and comfortable gray sofas, where Kevin can relax with his children. There is also a cinema room with beanbags and armchairs where his youngest play. Another room in the mansion that Kevin has already shown on his Instagram is his office, which has a wall decorated with many paintings. But no doubt, one of the rooms that the actor most often shares with his followers is his gym, a place where he must spend a lot of time, after all, it must not be easy to keep fit. Kevin's gym seems to be complete, being equipped with several weight training devices and also boxing equipment, a sport he also likes to practice. The architecture of the place is very interesting, having several motivational phrases on the walls and also having huge glasses with a view to the backyard. Going outside, it is possible to see that the place is stunning, having a huge space capable of housing everything that he and his family need. The place has very green grass, where the actor has shared moments when he was walking with a llama on a leash in his backyard. The pool area is one of the most beautiful places in the house, surrounded by sofas and loungers, and has a beautiful view of the mountains. There is also a space with a barbecue and pizza oven, next to a stylish table with rocking chairs for when they want a snack. And let's not forget the playground for his children to play in, where he also takes the opportunity to train outdoors. And there is no doubt that Kevin Hart and his family must have a great time in this mansion, as it is clear that he had to spend a real fortune to build it. According to some sources, to buy the land and build the mansion from scratch, it is estimated that he needed to invest around $5 million. Adam Sandler, for example, owns a 2,500-square-foot waterfront apartment in the Highland Beach area of Boca Raton in the state of Florida. It is speculated that he bought it for his mother in 1999, and it is currently valued at $1,300,000. Raising the price further, he owns a house in the city of Malibu, California, an area well known for housing many celebrity homes. The property, which is located on the beachfront, was built in 1947 and has a beautiful view of the sea. It was bought by the actor in 2001 for $4 million, but as two decades have passed, it is estimated that the estate has appreciated in value and is currently worth about $6,200,000. Adam Sandler's main home, however, is undoubtedly his gigantic mansion of almost 21,500 square feet in Los Angeles, California. And not content with the size of the property, he made a point of buying the house next door, thus becoming the owner of a huge plot of land. To give you an idea of the price, the two houses together are valued at no less than $29,200,000. And it is still speculated that this is just a part of Adam Sandler's real estate portfolio, since he is quite private about his personal life. And because Adam has more real estate than his colleague, he wins this round. Score one for him. Overspending. Being two comedians, it's clear that they have enough money to buy almost anything they want. But which one has the most extravagant spending? Adam Sandler, for example, is very fond of giving gifts to his friends. He gave away from Maserati's cars as gifts to his colleagues in the movie Grown Ups, cars much better than the ones he himself owns. The little toys given to his friends seems to be the Maserati Quattroport Grand Lusso model, a super sports car equipped with a V8 engine made for those who like speed. To get an idea of its power, the vehicle can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds and is capable of reaching a top speed of 190 miles per hour. And in order to donate this beautiful car to his friends, Adam Sandler had to cash out about $200,000 for each unit, for a total investment of more than $800,000. Kevin Hart, on the other hand, is so passionate about watches that he has his collection. He has been spotted wearing the following models. $55,000 Rolex Day Date 2 $187,000 Patek Philippe 5270 $220,000 Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Turbillion Extra Thin Openworked $233,000 Patek Philippe Celestial 6102 
$239,000 Patek Philippe 5004P $275,000 Patek Philippe 5204-1R $280,000 Patek Philippe 5271P $320,000 Patek Philippe 5976 $340,000 Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711-111P and even an Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Opal Rot Double Blanc, an incredible watch with a transparent skeletonized dial, applied pink hour markers with luminous coating. And to own one of these, you can find it on the market costing around $375,000. So, as Kevin Hart splurges more on his purchases, point for him. Business Besides being excellent actors, both comedians know well how to make money in other ways. Adam Sandler, for example, can be considered a great entrepreneur. In 1999, for example, Sandler founded his own production company, Happy Madison, which has been responsible for almost all of his films ever since. The name of the company was inspired by the movies Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore, the first two movies in which he has starred in. And those who think Adam Sandler is the only famous actor in his production company, you are wrong, seeing as he has co-starred in films with several other celebrities, such as Terry Crews, Rob Schneider, Jennifer Aniston, among many others. Since the company's creation, dozens of movies and TV series have been produced, some of which have even been very successful, such as The White Chicks, 102 Dalmatians, Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo, 13 Going on 30, Little Man, You Don't Mess with the Zohan, The Longest Yard, among many others. Kevin Hart, on the other hand, has several investments. In 2017, for example, Kevin founded Laugh Out Loud, an entertainment company focused on comedy productions with a distribution partnership on several streaming services. To get an idea of the size of the business, the company's YouTube channel alone has more than 5 million subscribers, having already surpassed the 1 billion views mark since inception. He also owns Heartbeat Productions, a company that produces several films such as Night School, The Upside, and Fatherhood. Another major source of income for the actor is through stand-up shows, and he owns The Irresponsible Tour, a comedy tour that takes place in several cities around the world. As a poster boy, Kevin can also earn a lot of money. This is because he is one of the most famous comedians on social networks, with more than 160 million followers on Instagram alone. Among the brands he has advertised are H&M Fashion, Hyundai Cars, Nike Shoes, C4 Energy Drinks, Mountain Dew Kickstart, and many other companies. And with all that said, there is no doubt that Kevin Hart has bigger ventures. Point for him. Net Worth being considered two of the world's greatest comedians, it's clear that they've already amassed a lot of money throughout their careers. But the time has come to finally find out which of the two actors is the richest. Adam Sandler has already amassed a gigantic net worth. Today, he is considered one of the richest actors in the world. But it took a long time for him to reach this level, as his financial earnings grew much like the way his movies did, slowly starting to become more successful as he became more known in Hollywood. To get an idea of his income, he received, for example, $1,760,000 for 1995 Billy Madison, $2,600,000 for 1996 Bulletproof, $8,400,000 for 1999 Big Daddy. From there, he managed to sign a million-dollar contract with Sony Pictures that entitled him to a base salary of $20 million per film plus a percentage that ranged from 20% to 25% of the profits from his productions. His revenues have grown so much that in the film anger management alone, for example, he received more than $60 million in total, an astronomical amount that put him among the highest paid actors in the world. In 2014, Adam Sandler signed a new million-dollar contract, but this time with streaming giant Netflix, where he committed to produce four movies in exchange for a fee of approximately $260,000. And this partnership seems to have given the company a lot of financial return, since in 2017 the contract was renewed for the production of four more films. However, this time, the value of the contract was not revealed. And all this money he receives for his movies is just a reflection of the return he brings in, since, adding up all the movies he has starred in, he has already exceeded the figure of $3,200,000,000. 
and because he is such a successful actor in his profession, there is no doubt that Adam Sandler has managed to amass a huge net worth. Although no one knows for sure how much money he has managed to accumulate during all these years, according to estimates Adam Sandler has a fortune of around $440 million. Kevin Hart, for example, has already earned a lot of money in his career. Only with his stand-up shows, for example, he can fill auditoriums with thousands of paying spectators, making up to millions of dollars in just one show. It is estimated that by adding up all the shows on his last tour, Kevin made more than $70 million. His income for movies, however, is undoubtedly the source of a large part of his wealth. It is speculated that he receives a starting salary of at least $10 million per film, an amount that can increase greatly if it becomes a blockbuster. One of his most commercially successful films, for example, was Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, a production that grossed almost $1 billion, which even led to making Part 2 Jumanji Next Level, where it also grossed an excellent $800 million. And with the success of the movie, the actor probably raised his fee quite a bit. And if we add up all his sources of income throughout his career, including his companies that employ dozens of people, it is a fact that Kevin Hart has already amassed a huge fortune. To get an idea of his net worth, according to Forbes, it is speculated that the actor has already accumulated a net worth of more than $450 million. With such wealth, we can say that Kevin Hart wins this round. Our battle ended with two points for Kevin Hart and three for Adam Sandler. The dispute was fierce, but Adam ended up taking the best. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.